year. This is Bill's 10th season with the Stadium Super Trucks. Outside of row number one, he made his debut. One round to go behind the wheel of the number five BDI Geyser entry from Newport Beach. He finished second at King of the Hammers and is the points leader in the unlimited off-road racing Triple Crown Championship. This is Bruce Benquist. On the inside of row number two, our next driver had a great race in his debut one round ago in the number 50 Gravel Kings truck. He's a score class five champion out of Encinitas, California. This is Trey Hernquist. On the outside of row number two, our next driver had a great battle with Ryan Beat in round one. The four-time off-road champ driving the number 957 CMI Precision Machine Entry from Anaheim is Miles Cheek. We go back to row number three, originally from Southern California, and the number 51 Bill Stein Chevrolet entry is a short course off-road champ and current Pro 2 racer. He got roughed up a bit in round one, but ready to rip here today. Put your hands together for Ryan B. On the outside of row three. And the familiar red, white, and blue truck. It's going to be the 2021 Stadium Super Truck Rookie of the Year. He's a two-time national champ in his third season with SST. Driving the number 28, Continental Tire Injector Dynamics entry, Robert Stout. We are closing the foot crossing, closing the foot crossing as we get ready to go racing here. We go back to the number 77 truck in row number four. He's the youngest winner in the history of Stadium Super Trucks. He did it one year ago right here at Long Beach at the age of 13. He's now 14 years old, finished fourth, one round to go. Driving the number 77 Continental Tire entry is Matt Max Gordon. And we go back to our next row beside Max is the number 2022 champ. He's the fourth winningest driver in stadium super truck history and finished on the podium one round ago, flying the number one plate on the VP Fuels entry. Put your hands together for champ Gavin Harlan. Back in row number five. Is a three-time Stadium Super Truck champ, the third winningest driver in the history of the series, the grandson of three-time F1 champ Sir Jack Brabham, and our winner one round to go. Put your hands together for the driver, the number 83 Continental Back Machine, Matty Brabham. Then outside of row number five, and leading weekend points is our 2013 and 14 champ. He's the man that started it all with 29 wins and 91 podiums, including his second place finish a round ago is a driver, the number seven Day Glow Orange Speed Energy truck from Orange, California. This is Robbie Gordon. And we will round out the field with a couple of rookies. Inside row six, making his debut one round to go, enjoying every second of it, is the driver, the number 23, Kibbe Tech entry, David Bernstein. And on the outside, filling in for his son, Joshua, he made his debut in 2015 at the Gold Coast. He is driving a 69 TFH higher entry. This is Brett Thomas. That's it. Round two about to begin here for 12 drivers of the Stadium Super Truck Series. We're about 30 seconds from the green flag. We will have three and a half laps, a mandatory caution. Three and a half more laps, a mandatory caution, and then a three-lap shootout to end this thing up. I promise you, ladies and gentlemen, you will not be disappointed when you see these 2,800-pound trucks flying off the ramp side by side. And I welcome Ralph Shaheen to the booth. Let's go, baby. Can't wait, buddy. Here we go. Green, and we're racing here through the street to Long Beach. Everybody barreling down to turn number one. He's set to make about 650 horsepower. Approaching speeds of 150 down there at turn one. And we're hoping they all get through turn one clean and around the fountain. Bill Hines leading the group. Doesn't look like anybody's going to do any mowing just yet. Yeah, everybody playing nice here through the first couple of turns. Typically take the gloves off right here after the fountain turn, and it is on. That's a look at Ryan Beat. Robert Stout right there behind him on the back bumper. They start to fan out here a little bit past turn number five. Straight away move. Stout trying to make the move, cannot make it happen. They've got to get some temp in these tires, temp in the brakes, temp in the shock oil as well. They just start out ice cold with these trucks. It is a handful. Somebody with an issue out there by the wall. We're trying to figure out who that is. Down through the back stretch here. There's a long back straight into a heartbreaking spot. 
down here in turn number nine. Yeah, it looked like Ryan Beat made a move down there to the bottom lane to try and protect a little bit. Side by side they go. Bill Hines still leading the group. That is Miles Cheek in second. Then Ryan Beat still jumps to the inside. The 77 of Mad Max. Then Gavin Harlan, the number one truck, the reigning champ back in there picking up some spots. Here they come, Shoreline, get ready. Three wide to the hairpin. Wow, Stout really had to check up to keep him running in the back of feet going off that second jump. So there by Mad Max on one of the trucks oh. that went down in deep in there. Stout. Boy, there's some contact right there, diving deep to the inside. Yeah, Stout made a move on Beat. Stout tagged Beat one round to go. It looks like Beat wanted to give a little bit back. All's fair in love and war and stadium and super, super trucks. trucks. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. <laughs> so good battle here. That is the number 957 of Miles G. His father is a champion and Bill Bundy the Lucas Oil Off-Road Series. Miles a four-time off-road champ. His latest in 2020, doing it in a UTV in the production 1000 category. A Polaris uh, factory driver at the time. Look how leaned over they are going down that corner and just have to set that thing straight back up before they hit that first ramp. That is exactly right. Stout trying to pick a way through here and decides to tuck in behind Miles. I thought he was going to go underneath him, maybe try to get a twofer. Did not work out that way. He's got pushing Miles. Look at them trying to whoa those big trucks down. 2,800 pounds in full tilt trying to come down there. Just crawling through that tight corner. Stout jumps to the inside, gets to the inside. Of Bill Hines there. It looks like Miles Cheek is going to take over the lead. Stout trying to go around the outside on the hairpin. We'll see if he can make that work. He's going to have some company as well. Ryan Beat right behind him. Miles Cheek, your leader, Bill Hines. And Bill Hines with a. Oh, we right got there. one around. One That's around right the there. Shore line. Sketchy stuff, man. It is crazy out here with Stadium Super Truck. Bill Hines in a bad way there for just a moment. He got turned and everybody saw him and they had to move to the side of the jump to avoid jumping through him over the second jump here on the rhythm lane known as Shoreline Boulevard. Yeah, it's uh, worth noting here, the second ramp is completely sideways at this point as well. We'll see what happens here. A couple of guys taking a look at this one. Trying to hit it. This should be pretty interesting as they all come back around here. It is worth noting that race control is in a enclosed ramp. They don't have windows where they can see this track and see that that ramp is completely sideways. And they are going to go yellow. It's probably a good thing race control is blocked away from the action over here on Shoreline because they probably go have the heart attack mode the way these guys have been flying off that second jump this weekend. Yeah, I mean, it's. This is the sketchiest place we go because of that double. And the fans over here trust the right away. They see the massive air these guys are getting here. That wind blowing right at us will hang underneath the jumps. Yep. It'll, it'll hang that nose up in the air. We've seen them drag the back bumper a number of times. And it's blowing completely different than yesterday. So everything you did yesterday in flying this truck goes right out the window. It's useless today. That is exactly right. These guys are still at speed. No, no yellow yet. And timing of scoring still has us under green. And Robbie, and Robbie Gordon is stopping the field right there. Down. Taking a look at that. So Robbie's going to move back. Up moving back. himself. Atta boy! It's not his first rodeo, is it? No, oh, love it. When it's your series, you can do stuff like that, I guess, huh? You know, 11 years this series has been going on thanks to that man right there, and he knows exactly what to do in these instances. He'll give up a race win. I don't know. I mean, if they're still under green, keep in mind, he was leading in weekend points as well. So yeah, absolutely. He'll have a lot of work to do to see if he can get back here. But he does have the two mandatory cautions to work with. So yeah, he's, the back and field. he's thinking about his fellow competitors and their safety first. That is David.
David Bernstein, the 23 Jimmy Tech truck that uh, is going down the front straightaway as we watch the leaders here once again. Miles Cheek out leading the group, followed up by Stout and then Harlan. So we should be seeing that first full course caution here real soon, right? Yeah, Gavin Harlan just uh, right there now, it is there. Like so Gavin Harlan, a outstanding driver, did a, uh, a great job one year ago to earn that championship. Probably should have won a couple more championships. There's a look at what happened there and what caused that ramp to get moved sideways. Well, that was crazy. And I'm not sure if something happened to Bill. I don't. I didn't see any contact before he went to the brakes there. So I, I'm not real sure how that all transpired. That's strange. That's for sure. And Bill, a seasoned veteran, man. It's not like he's scared or, or does something crazy. But Stout clearly got him to the back of him there. But it, he, that happened right in front of us, and it really looked like Bill had gone to the brakes before Stout hit him. Stout was trying to move to the right to get on the right-hand side of the jump, probably go off side by side with him. But uh, whatever it was, man, it got pretty hairy there for a moment. And he's parked right below us here in the pit lane. Yeah, so it looks like Bill's going to climb out of that thing. Uh, Bill, an outstanding guy, huge series supporter here, as we talked about his 10th year with the series out of 11. So. Having a nice round of applause for Bill Hines, ladies and gentlemen. Pretty sketchy moment there on the front straightaway. We come back around here. We will go green. By the way, first and second place have been doing battle for years. They competed against each other in the Lucas Oil Off-Road Racing Series and UTVs, both of them champions in that series. And Gavin Harlan, also a veteran of that series in the Pro Light Division. Here one more time for another three and a half laps. Got way to the right hand side to open up that entry to turn number one step behind him. Then the VP's number one truck of Gavin Harlan. Ryan Pete was up there in fourth place. So hanging tough. Still hanging there. Then it's Mad Max. Robbie Gordon went back up to claim his spot where he was before. He picks that ramp. Robbie, a nice inside move there. Taking up another spot. That should put him up to six. Man, that makes, he makes it look easy, doesn't it? It sure does. He's going to stay to the right-hand side and see if he can pick up another one here. He jumped that turnoff. He did that a couple times yesterday and passes his son, Max. And by doing that, he shortened up that run up that short straightaway there, and that gave him the opportunity to get to the inside of Max. It also changes the entry of that turn, so he's got to be really cool there. Here comes Gavin Harlan on the outside of Stout. Two talented drivers. They put on a show in Ohio a year ago. Never touched each other, but boy, do they race hard. Looks like he's going to get the spot here. Matty Brown right behind, st behind Stout as well. Three really fast trucks here, and nobody seems to have anything for Miles Cheek yet. Who shook the rust off one round to go. Miles Cheek goes some drugs today. Looks like Max pushing his dad here, and Max peels off to the right-hand side. A couple of trucks deeper there, and looks like Robbie's going to hang on to the spot here, but nobody raises Robbie any harder than Max. I'm sure Bob would have said the same thing about Robbie back in the day, right? That's probably right. You have that confidence against somebody you know, right? Good to see him go at it. Max, so talented, has been in a race car a lot already this year, as has Robbie. Spent a lot of time out in the desert. They ran King of the Hammers. So we watched the CMI back machine. And man, once look at again, Miles Cheek setting that left front tire down just in time. Gavin Harlan all over the back bumper, though, slowly closing that gap. Back to fourth now. He's 
six trucks breaking away at the front here. It is going to be quite a wild dash after this final check or caution comes out. Making their way back to the hairpin here once again. A little smoke off the front tire there for Miles. Folks didn't see it there on TV, but Bruce Binks puts it kind of out against the wall there in the front straightaway. That happens right in front of us. Miles Seek now getting plenty of pressure from the reigning champ. A little smoke off that right front tire for Gavin as he pulled up on Miles. Had to check up just a little bit, got some breathing room. He's got the three-time champ of Matty Bradham on his back bumper. Can't check up too much. Then Stout, then Robbie Gordon. Matty Bradham claiming his 25th series win one day ago. Look at him hike up the left thing. front tire, man. Crazy, isn't it? It is just amazing. And here comes Robbie with that move. He loves Stout that inside move. down there. He made him hard at this time to see if Stout can over under him. They're coming back around here with next time out of turn number six. They should see that man set up our last three laps. That puts Roddy up to fourth now. Right behind Matty Bradley. First, second, third. Really impressed with the run here out of Miles Cheek. These two guys behind him are as good as they get in stadium super trucks. Here they come to hit that second jump. I level with the folks at the top seats of the grandstands. To fly down shoreline, literally. But we'll have a battle for fifth here in just a moment as well as Max got a good run on Stout. All over the back bumper, here comes Max taking a look at the inside. Thanks better of it. Miles hanging on here. We'll see if he can hang on for a couple more turns and lead the group here to the start of the final three laps. What a great job so far in that CMI back machine. CMI Precision Machine is his father's business. Put together a nice effort here in the second round for 2023. Matty Bradham right on the back of Gavin Harlan. Coming around here, the ship pick up the caution flag right here. And there, there it is. So once again, exciting stuff here. What do you think, Long Beach? Are you having a good time? Do you love the stadium super trucks? So who do we think is in the best position now with three to go? Your guess is as good as mine, buddy. Right? That's the beauty of it. <laughs> you do not know here with this series, and especially the group of talented racers in the front. What we do know is it's go time. They've got three laps to get it done. And there's some hungry dogs right there behind Miles Cheek. Miles has dealt with some big pressures in his career. Once again, we take a look at this pass here. This is Gavin Harlan, Robert Stout. Stout on the inside, the injector dynamics machine. Continental Tire, BP Fuels Machine, the number one plate right there for Gavin. Both of them through the turn, neither one of them touching each other. Great racing right there. Those two talented drivers have done that. They put that on display many times. They have a lot of faith in each other. Here we go, back around here. Miles Cheek leading the group. He'll have control of the field here to pick up the throttle whenever he chooses. Back to the run on staff there on that restart, already up beside him, and then actually partially ahead of him. Gets around Stout, 
And now taking a look at his dad, Robbie, all the way down to the bottom to protect. Here comes Gavin Harlan on Miles. Gavin Harlan back in that thing and trying to take the lead. Can he get it done? Oh. Oh, he says, no, man, I'm going to go right back underneath you. Takes the spot. Matty Brabham gets around Harlan as well to take over second. Robbie, driver, and Robbie defended from his son, Max Purnell. Yeah, no question. All over the back bumper, the number one truck for Gavin Harlan. Harlan going for it. Just did not go his way. Down to the fountain area. Watch one of the slower trucks in the back. Yeah, yeah, that's a 69 of Brett Thomas filling in for his son. Brett Thomas, a former Power I champ, by the way. Here's your race leaders. Yeah, Miles Sheep with a great job. Again, Robbie Gordon way down to the inside trying to make oh, that baby. work on Gavin. Did not happen that time. Miles Sheep down to the bottom trying to take care of that lower line. Matty Brown all over the back bumper here. A little bit of a gap there. Back to Gavin. We'll see if he can close that back up with these two guys racing to the front. Robbie is pushing hard here today. Second place run yesterday. Yeah, trying to get up there and earn those overall points, right, to win this. Yep. And Miles, who made his debut here in 2017, trying to hang on for his first career stadium super truck win. Boy, what a big day that would be. Join Kyle Kirkwood right with his first win. That's right, Kirkwood getting his first win in NTT Indy cars, and now Cheek trying to do the same. A couple more laps to go here for him. It will be well earned if he can hang on. He's getting everything thrown at him right now, that's for sure. Rather than the continental tire back machine. Just dribbling that right front through that corner. You see it just skimming the surface there. And again, Miles being protected here. Bravo here looking Bravo. inside. He's a master on the brakes. See if he can get the position here. Miles won't give it up easily, but he did not let her. And Bravo goes to the lead. Right out by the wall they go. Max hits the wall. Trying to close out the weekend. Look at him jump off that ramp sideways to set himself up there for that carousel turn right down to the bottom of the curves. White flag coming out. Last lap, ladies and gentlemen. Here we go. Send it. A little bit of gap between everybody here. Miles Cheek actually closing up a little bit of the back bumper of Matty. Max right up on the back bumper of Robbie. Matty with a little bit of breathing room. Then it's Miles, Gavin Harlan, right now on the back bumper of Miles, trying to pick up one more spot. Out of turn five there, into turn six. Trying to think ahead to where you might be able to make a pass happen. Bobby likes going inside here. I don't think he's close enough to do anything. Five, six, seven complex it is tricky for sure as they head up the back straight away for the final time. Miles down to the bottom with a little bit of breathing room. Should be able to hang on here for a podium. Making their way to shoreline for the final time and the checkered flag. Robbie now in the back bumper of Gavin as well. It'll be tight here right to the finish. Matty Bravo leads him around here to the hairpin for the final time. On the back bumper of Miles is Gavin, then Robbie. Here they come, Shoreline. 
On the mat, air him out, baby. You gotta go. Big nose down moment for Gavin and Max. Decker's flag flies, and Manny Bravo is gonna make a clean sweep of the weekend. Cheek will take second, Harlan takes third, Robbie Gordon takes fourth, and 14-year-old Max Gordon comes home in fifth. Well, Long Beach, what'd you think of the stadium super trucks here today? Well, now comes a two-wheeled action in the burnouts. We'll see some of the guys getting these things up on two wheels as they get back over here on shoreline. And Ken's gonna make his way over for the picture podium to talk to our top three. And then the Porsche Carrera North America Cup is up for our final race of the weekend here, 48th running of the Acura Grand Prix of Long Beach. What a weekend it's been. Porsche's gonna close it out for us. Thanks a lot, Ralph. I'm going to run down to the podium. Good, good racing here. Long Beach, hope you enjoyed it. Great stuff. out on the racetrack. See it up on the big screen. Using up those Continental tires. Matty Brabham on two wheels. Watching the replay up on the big screen of some of the action, the craziness here on Shoreline. Behind. Stop you waiting for the camera. Let's hear it from Matty Brabham. And here comes Robbie Gordon up on the shoreline. Let's see what he's got. I'm betting two wheels. Here's Robbie showing you the bottom side of a stadium super truck. <laughs> Teaching Joey Chitwood a few things, huh? Don't ever let Robbie borrow your street car. No, 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 no.
All right, Ken, down to you there in the victory podium area. We'll let you handle it from here as it looks like our winners, top three, have made their way to the podium. Thanks a lot, guys. Yeah, man, an exciting race here once again. Keep in mind, we have to tally up points from qualifying that happened on Friday. Then, of course, the first race that happened yesterday. And then we combine those with the points from the action here today. So we'll have a busy podium here for a couple of moments. First, we will talk about our top three on the podium here for this race. And then we'll talk about the top three for the overall on the weekend for starters, though, he's climbing out of the truck. The number 83, Matty Brabham, goes back to back here in 2023. Put your hands together for him. Hey, Long Beach, they can hear you. They're all out of the trucks. Make some noise. Let's get our drivers up here, the top three for this race. He's had a great race weekend so far this, this weekend here, both rounds, one and two on the podium. He's your reigning 2022 champ driver of the number one VP Fuels truck. Put your hands together for Gavin Harlan. Coming up here, man, I think I called you by the right name today. I was pretty impressed with myself, my efforts here. Really impressed with your efforts, though, man. A great weekend, great, great way to kick off the season in comparison, especially to what you did here last year and managed to win the championship. Yeah, if you know me, every time I go out there, I want to I want to get the win, but I'll take the two third places this weekend. Last year, I won the championship after getting sixth both days here, so already off to a better start. Stoked to be back in the VP Racing Fields truck. Thanks for all my friends, coworkers, family for coming out to support. And yeah, looking forward to the, the rest of the season. Awesome stuff. We'll see him again here in just a moment. Hang here tight for now, though. Up next, driver of the number 957 CMI Precision Machine Truck. He is an outstanding driver as well. Thought he might come away here with his first career stadium super truck win, but he had a brutal three-time champ right behind him that'll make him pay. Nonetheless, nothing to be ashamed of here. A great drive. Put your hands together for Miles. Cheek. Congrats, man. Great run. You shook, shook the rust off yesterday. You made your debut here in 2017 and definitely showed you had some talent today. Yeah, I must have just been a little rusty yesterday or something, but it was definitely a lot nicer to get out, a little bit of clean air. Then I uh, was able to run my own race and saw Maddie. He started pushing on me, and Maddie's so good. So uh, gave him maybe a little bit too much room on the inside, and he was able to poke the nose in there. Then after that, I just tried staying with him, running the same lines that he was. So, uh, man, I'm just... After the day yesterday, I'm stoked with the results that we're having. As you should be. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, Miles Cheek. And, of course, sweeping the weekend. A great run here for the number 83 Continental-backed machine. Put your hands together with Matty Brabham. Man, you dug hard here. You had to really dig hard. You always do anyways, but struggle there in qualifying. You had some mechanical issues, but you came out here and you got it done in rounds one and two. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously uh, not a great start to the weekend, but, uh, you know, those things happen. And, uh, you know, the, if you, the way the points are structured, it doesn't really matter. You know, it, you can still go for the overall. I just knew I had to get both wins. And uh, the Continental truck was just unbelievably fast. So, uh, yeah, it was so much fun racing all these guys. Uh, Miles Cheek, I mean, he was just awesome there. I mean, I, I was uh, trying to, you know, strategize how I was going to do to the end of the race. And once he took off, I was like, I don't, I don't think I have a strategy. It's just trying to, trying to keep up and, uh, and figure out where I can even pass him because he was so good on the exit. So uh, big congrats to him. It's so good to see new guys up here on the podium with us. And uh, big thank you to the crowd. I mean, the crowd is just so cool. We can hear you guys when we're doing the donuts and the two wheels and, and we're racing out there. So uh, big thanks to everyone that sticked around. And obviously big thanks to Continental. And, uh, and it's so good having, you know, being able to drive their truck. It's just so unbelievable. It's so much fun. Great stuff, man. Hop up there, take a picture, and then we'll bring up the top three for the overall. But finishing up in third will be Gavin Harlan. In second, Miles Cheek. And your winner, Matty Brabham. So we're going to keep two of those guys in the same spot. We're going to swap out Miles. Sorry, buddy. 
Your dad will be happy on that four-hour drive back. <laughs> but finishing up third overall will be Gavin Harlan. Finishing up second overall, digging hard, Mr. Robbie Gordon. Good job, man. I mean, you missed it by just a little bit, but uh, you're always tough and a great move, by the way, to go out there and, and fix that ramp middle of the race. Yeah, thank you. You know, I don't think that hurt me because I lined up right back where I was going to be. Um, these guys, you know, what we do every moto is we share information. And, you know, yesterday, Miles is saying, okay, my torque converter is bad. This is bad. And it was 1 o'clock in the morning. I watched some video last night. And I'm like, if you get your foot off the throttle just a little bit, it'd take the shove out of the middle of the corner, and you'll be go down the straightaway just fine. And I'm glad you listened to me. Um, congratulations. I mean, honestly, um, had a talk with uh, Chuck, who we are good friends, and Miles, and we all watched video today. And, and just by studying a little bit and, and taking it in, not taking it as negative, but taking it as a positive, shows he can go right back up on the podium with the exact same truck. We did nothing that truck yesterday, except for just had a little bit of uh, driver explaining. And dirt racing and pavement racing are two different things and um, we know miles is a great driver so we're, we're excited to have him back in the series those are the kind of drivers we need in this series young aggressive competitive drivers so um you know you look at we got harlan and and brabham and myself and we got max right behind us so we've got a good group of drivers right now competing in sst and i'm really excited about it i'd like to thank jim mckellion wherever you are at jim uh, this is 10 years of Stadium Super Truck here at Long Beach Grand Prix. And uh, unfortunately, Matt Brabham, unfortunately for me, I'm not the king of the beach. Matt Brabham is the king of the beach this weekend. So um, congratulations, and uh, we'll go up and get our podiums. All the fans that stuck around, thank you very much. I appreciate your support. Uh, thanks. The man, Robbie Gordon, and once again, congrats, Matty, on a great weekend, man. Pulling off the overall here is a tough, tough thing to do. Big deal. Oh, yeah, it was just, uh, it's just awesome. Yeah, I mean, it's just this series is... Uh, I've learned so much, and it's helped me in everything else I've ever done. So, you know, you can tell where Robbie got all his talent from. And, uh, and you know, it's just different different uh, forms of motorsport can all kind of mold into stadium super trucks and just put on the um, most best races I've ever been a part of. So I love it. There you go, ladies and gentlemen, your top three overall. Yeah, you know, he said something pretty cool. You know, people ask me, you know, how do you dream up stadium super trucks? And I'm like, all right, you take an Indy car, a NASCAR, a monster truck, and a supercross bike and put them in a shoebox, shake them up. An SST will come out. There you go, man. Talented, talented drivers. Once again, your overall podium here. Gavin Harlan there in third. Robbie Gordon in second. And Matty Brabham, your overall winner for the weekend here at Long Beach. <laughs>